I tip the line on like every five steps. Two of them still. On these three. Talk a little bit about, well, obviously, the BES Awards. What are you guys up for? Are you presenting? Like, what, what's the deal? Well, you're presenting, presenting, not to any of the things that we're up for. No, that's good. So we, we, we have. Four, we're not four, nominated four times for two films, so eight nominees total uh, for Good Dinosaur and Inside Out. So multiple nominees for each yeah. category. So there's like 50 people from Pixar here, the most we've ever had. I mean, best animated character, set, overall effects in the movie, simulation in both films, Good Dinosaur and Inside Out. Uh, I have to say, I enjoyed Good Dinosaur, but Inside Out was one of my favorite films of the year. I am still a little bit upset that it's not up for Best Picture, not in the anime. You know what I'm talking about, the real category, the big category. Not that I'm, I, that sounded very bad. You know, it used to be in the Academy. Yeah, in addition to the history of the Academy. Right, no, but I think it's a movie series. I love the movie. Um, talk a little bit about, uh, a little bit about maybe some Easter eggs that maybe people haven't found, or if they found everything. We uh, are big uh, fans of Disneyland and uh, Disney World, and for those who are particular nerds about Epcot Center, we have good news for you because Figment, your favorite purple little dinosaur character, is somewhere in the film. Do you want to give him a hint? Yeah, it's an imagination that was one of the sets we're nominated for tonight. And you got to look close because it's a little portrait of Figment because we love Figment. Um, talk a little bit about uh, Super Nerdy. Yeah. No, no, I, 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 like, I like Super Nerdy. Actually, let's talk a little bit about technology, actually. One of the things that I found with animated movies is each year they seem to get better and better because the process is refined. What do you think a technological hurdle that you've been up against recently that might be solved or is being solved in the future? I mean, you know, it's an amazing question. In a weird way, Good Dinosaur and Inside Out. I preach Good Inside Out, but when we start that movie, Pete talks a lot about caricature and energy and things that are not literal targets for the computer scientists to hit. Yeah, so you have to track the yeah. concept that the computer scientists go for. The characters are light sources, and, and, and the models are a little more, I want to say, hand-drawn and feel. We bent things and defied the, the, the logic of the computer graphics, whereas the dinosaur took the, 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 the biggest leap we've ever taken with like water simulation and photorealism, or almost for like a uh, Carol Ballard type of film. Right? And, and it, it was just this interesting thing at the, at the studio where both of those things were being put forward. There was no one big leap in technology, but it was a different use of tools that we've ever, ever done. Yeah. It's all a story driven. So whatever the story requires, that's what we're after. And then, of course, the technology then inspires the art. So. I will say that uh, Good Dinosaur has insane VFX. Like, the, the, the wa- everything about the movie technologically speaking is just stunning. Uh, mad book. Just want to throw that out there. So let's talk about the mo- now the next most important thing, which is the gift shop at Pixar. <laughs> I've been there once, and it had really cool stuff. What do we need to do to open that up to the average consumer at home? Mm. Well, first of all, I'm really excited. My wife, actually, I met her, so she started. So, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's a great question. There, how do we get that to the people at home? I could say, come to Pixar, but then everyone would kill me. So you write your uh, first thing. No, and it would be great because uh, we're always looking for new ways to get cool stuff out there. The design work at, the, at that place is incredible. Yeah, so we take a lot of individual artists and do posters and things. John Lasseter, if you don't know this, I'm sure you do, is the greatest, I'm not kidding, toy collector in the world. I mean, it probably is. And so he's very passionate about products. And so everything in that store is almost like the film. It's from the artist, it's made, John checks every single thing, so it's the best stuff. Obviously, the in there. Okay, come by the big star. I'll take you in there. The thing that I found was you guys had these amazing posters hanging on the walls near the cafeteria that were like basically available in the gift shop, but nowhere else. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's so That's the. There's a couple things like that, right? So there's the insurance and even the products that's only available there. So uh, we haven't answered the question about how people can get them, but we're getting there. I think I can't, I can't think of it. There's just maybe a, 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 a problem without solution. Well, you know, we just start like an online. Have we thought of that? No. no I we have. I'm making a call right now. Uh, my last as he comes back. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you might be involved in Toy Story 4. Well, like all of us, I helped out, especially at the beginning. Uh, but right now, it's being directed by John Lasseter, co directed by Josh Cooley. They're really doing a great job. It's taking things in a little bit of a new direction, which I think will really um, surprise people and hopefully not feel like the first three, but still familiar. In a way. I don't know if that even makes sense, but well, I think it's pretty awesome. Well, my last thing, because she's going to kill me, is that 
I, people love these characters, and one of the things that I basically understood about Pixar is one of the reasons you'll make a sequel is if you have the right story. When, when did you all realize we have a good enough story that we think to the ending of Toy Story 3 is spectacular? When did you guys hit it and say, oh yeah, this, this is a great story, this is worth doing? Dan pitched something, and I can't tell you what it is, but it was like, oh, okay. You know, and we all struggled mightily with that because we're in the same boat. They, they felt like it wrapped up very nicely. Um, but, man, if we can hit what he was after, I think it's going to be I want to say congratulations on a great year. Can't wait to see what's coming up. Thank you for your time.